We were like making out. Okay, yes, okay. Hello, beautiful people and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time watching i'm sheree welcome if you happen to be returning you are truly appreciated thank you so much and welcome back to another week of what i wore in a week fragrance edition drop your sin of the day do not forget to make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe of course if you like the content of course and we are going to jump right in so many of you left your sin of the day last uh week was it last week yeah last week and so many of you left what you wore through the week you guys have some amazing picks and some fire collections okay you have inspired me somebody told me they wore velvet tonka um, and Mirth and Tonka? No, Velvet Rose and Oud, I believe, from Joe Malone. And I'm like, oh, I gotta pull that out. And then somebody else shared that they wore um, Marc Jacobs Decadence. And I was like, oh, I gotta pull that out. So I'm getting to try so many of fragrances that I have already and new ones because you guys are sharing. So thank you so much for playing along. I always love to see and hear what you are rocking these days. We have an Explorer fragrance, you guys. I was listening to Pat, she was speaking about a fragrance called Rose de Vance. I believe I'm saying that right. If I'm not, you already know I'm trying, okay? She was speaking about Rose de Vance from Louis Vuitton. And I tell you, I have tons and tons of samples from Louis Vuitton because I have an amazing client advisor over there who just takes care of me when it comes to samples and customer service and everything like that. So I said, let me pull it out and let me play with it. Oh my gosh, okay, it's a rose fragrance. Let me give you a little bit about it. Um, Spray it to familiarize myself. I've been playing with it. Um, and I had wore it before and I was just like, eh, it's okay, it's okay. When you first initial spray it, I get pickle juice. Don't ask me where I get that from. This is my nose, this is what it detected, this is what it picked up. Pickle juice, but not in a bad way. And it only stays for like half of a second, not even a 2.5, a half of a second, and then it goes away. But I believe it's like a green note that's inside of there. So it's a green, earthy rose fragrance. It's got Turkish rose in it, it's got iris, it's got musk. You definitely smell some peppery, hot, heated notes in there as well. It's got orris root, and then it has violet leaf. Now you guys, quick 2.5 about this fragrance. I put it on and I was like, oh, okay, you know, let me see how it wears. Let me, you know, go downstairs, do what I have to do, blah, blah, blah. And I have forgot that I put it on. So I went to reach inside of the oven to grab something out and I got a whiff of it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is really good. And this had been probably like six, seven hours later. So it has a great longevity on it. I mean, for me, it had a great longevity. It was about six, seven hours in and I was still able to get a whiff of it. It's a beautiful fragrance. It was long lasting. It would be perfect for spring, perfect for summer. I don't want a full bottle. I, I said what I said. I said what I said. I'm not taking it back. I'm not, I said what I said. I'm not taking it back. I don't want a full bottle. It's a beautiful fragrance. I was going to smell myself because I thought I put it on. It's a beautiful fragrance, but in my opinion, mm, for the price tag, remember, we're speaking about the price tag here. Um, I just said no. It's a no for me. Beautiful fragrance, long lasting, uh, pretty girl fragrance, brunch, church. If you're looking for something upbeat, elegant, classy, luxurious, something like that, I would say Give it a whiff, but for the price tag, for me, it's just a no. I will be exploring a new fragrance every week, so make sure you tune back in. If you have some that you would like for me to explore, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. If I have that fragrance, I'll make it happen. I move on. All right, that brings me to Monday. Was it Sunday? Oh, no, 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 it was Sunday. Sunday, if you guys watched the vlog from last week, okay, this week, I can't keep up. But if you watch the vlog, I wore this one here. I told you guys I was gonna wear it. I sampled it in Sephora. This was gifted over and sent over by the team over at Victor and Roth in PR. Beautiful fragrance. The bottle is beautiful. There's not enough good things I can say about this bottle. I love Flower Bomb. If you've been watching the channel for any amount of time, I am a Flower Bomb girl. However, this one here. Now, let's start with the pros. There's not really, hold on a second. This here got on my body held it tight and did not let it go. I got a good eight hours out of this. I'm gonna say this right up front, hashtag 2.5, I sprayed heavy. I sprayed heavy on that Sunday we were going out. I knew I was gonna be out for a long time. I wanted my fragrance to help me get in the door before I actually sat down and it did just that. I sprayed my clothes, I sprayed my hair. I got a good eight plus hours out of it. It was really good. Somebody was asking me for a syrupy fragrance. This would be a way to go. It is kind of syrupy in my opinion. I believe it's the peach note in here that's getting me. It's peach, it's a fruity floral, vanilla bean, orchid. It's kind of powdery. It's got a little bit of a green note in here. It is a beautiful fragrance. I sprayed it when it first came out in Sephora. And I guess I was just comparing it to the original. And if I had to choose one and have one in my collection, 
I definitely would choose the original. It's just beautiful. But if someone gifted this to me, as they did, okay, she's definitely gonna wear it and rock it because it is good. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's perfect for spring, perfect for summer. Um, it's gonna be good for a date night. It's a great fragrance that a guy would like. Like I said, when I first sprayed this for my guy, he was like, oh, that's good. You know what I mean? It's sweet, it's sensual, it's sexy. It's um, not candy-ish, but syrupy, I would say. So definitely, if you have not tried it, uh, go ahead and get a whiff of it. Like I said, I'm gonna stay true to what I said. Great fragrance, if I had to buy it, I would not buy it. I would recommend and buy the original, but I'm definitely gonna rock this all spring and summer. I move on. On Monday, I reached for Floor Must by Narciso Rodriguez for her. That is this one here, beautiful fragrance. I shared with you guys a couple of years ago. I did pick this up at um, the Nordstrom's Rack and I got it for a really good deal. A few of the notes inside of here, it's a floral. It's a warm floral, I should say. Rose, it's musk. It has like pink flowers, uh, pink peppercorn, woody accord, patchouli, amber. It's a very cozy, romantic, intimate type of fragrance. And it was so fitting for Monday. It's a really, Gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. And when I sprayed it, I was like, oh my God, I forgot how pretty you are. And I don't know why I don't reach for you. I need to put this in the Pretty Girl fragrance because this right here is really pretty. So this is what I reach for on Monday. I move on. On Tuesday, I reach for this. This was actually sent over by the brand as well. This is by Pin Halligan. This is an amazing fragrance, you guys. I put this on and I was like, what was I thinking? It is so good. I like it heavy, I like it hot, I like it strong, and this delivered. I mean, the bottle is absolutely gorgeous. For the first time when I first got into Pin Halligan's fragrances, I was like, what in the world? This is so different, so unique, but actually I can appreciate it. I find it to be like art. So here, this one is a very fresh, earthy, it's a very spring appropriate type of fragrance. You guys, I just moved over to spring, okay? Because we're not having winter here, we're having I don't even know what it is. This weather has got like mood swings. It's happy one day, sad the next day, cold, hot, hailing, raining. I, it, it can't keep up and I can't keep up. So I'm just reaching for spring fragrances. Anyways, bergamot, jasmine, cedar, sandalwood, vetiver. It has ambroxan. This is a very long lasting fragrance. I sprayed it. I sprayed it heavy. It gave me a good eight hours plus. It stayed on my clothes. It's still on my clothes. Let's just be clear. It's still on my clothes. This was Tuesday's fragrance and it's still on my clothes and it is absolutely beautiful. If you're looking for something unique, if you're looking for something different, if you want to feel kind of, you know, in a different, how, how do you say it? It's just, oh God, it's so good though. I mean, this is like classy though. This is classy, this is sophistication, but yet sexy, but in a different type of way. This isn't like a, hey, this isn't that kind of sexy. It's not that. This is a just walk with confidence. You command the room, you know that you know, and you don't care if they know because you know it's that kind of sexy. And if you got that, hit the like button. If you didn't hit the subscribe button, it really doesn't matter, just hit a button. That is Pin Halligan. I'm gonna put the name right here because I'm not gonna even try and butcher it and mess it up. I move on. Now I have to take a quick 2.5 for this. I have nothing, well, Okay, okay, I can't say that. I have one fragrance in a couple of uh, roller balls or travel sprays from this particular house, this brand. And I'm not a huge fan only because I find the fragrance is very, very sweet for my liking. And I don't really like a very sweet fragrance, but I was pleasantly surprised at the intense version of this particular fragrance. I'm gonna show you the dent in this bottle. And I have a very nice collection. So for this fragrance to have this dent, it's saying a lot. What are you talking about, Shrey? What did you wear on Wednesday? This here. This is Marc Jacobs Perfect Intense. I smelt the original. It was a little bit too eh for me. But I might go back and retry it again as now that we're in spring, it has a lot to do. To me, when you're sampling fragrances, sample them in their season. Or if you sample them off season, go back and resample them when they're supposed to shine. I have found that I have repurchased fragrances that way or I have purchased fragrances that way. I'm still waiting to smell Bitter Peach because I want that bottle so bad, but I do not like that fragrance. Okay, that's a different story. Anyways, I move on, Um, I come back, I digress, I come back. So here it is. Blooming Jasmine, Almond, Sandalwood, Amber Floral. It's a beautiful fragrance. Night, I've categorized it in a date night sexy fragrance. I put this on, you guys. I'm gonna tell you the truth. This right here, gosh, it's so good. It's so, so good. In a very 
simplistic way. It's not doing a lot, it's not over the top, it's not doing the most, and typically those are the type of fragrances that I like. But this is doing so much, so subtle, that is absolutely gorgeous. It's a very sexy fragrance. Um, this is a dent that I have already put in it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, girl, slow down. You guys can't see it, huh? Here you go. That's it. I've put this dent in it. It's a beautiful fragrance. And I did not expect that. I um, This was one that I sniffed in store, sprayed it on at Sephora. I believe I was at Sephora. And um, did some walking around and went back in and said, yep, I need a full bottle. So I would highly recommend Marc Jacob Perfect Intense. I move on. On Thursday, I wore this. And this is Fragrance Du Bois, and this is Siberian Rose. This is absolutely gorgeous, it's beautiful, it's sexy, it's sensual. This is winter, spring, summer, fall, in my opinion. Um, I wore it in fall, and I wore it in summer. Yeah, I, 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 I get this can be a year-round fragrance. It's a beautiful fragrance. Every time I put this on, I just feel like that grow. I feel like I've arrived, I've made it. Um, I always feel like that, but no, I really feel like that. And I'm like, oh my God, this is so good. A few of the notes inside of it, you guys, rose, Turkish rose cinnamon um they have so many other fragrances i have about 20 samples from fragrance for all so if there's one that you guys would recommend that i try out i know they came out with one called corvette or corvette i could be saying that wrong um that one's on the way so i should be receiving that any day now but i do have a ton of other samples so if there's one that you would recommend or that you would suggest leave it in the comment section below but this has leather patchouli amber it's a beautiful beautiful fragrance it is absolutely gorgeous i wore this on girls night out it was really good i wore this out with my guy he absolutely loved it i got a ton of compliments when i wore this i wore it in the evening i wore it in the daytime i have just played with this fragrance and i absolutely love it this also was gifted uh by the brand fragrance Ball, so thank you so much. This is absolutely a gorgeous, amazing fragrance. I move on. Okay, Friday night. Friday night, I went out and I went out on a date with this guy. <laughs> my guy. <laughs> so on Friday night, I went out on a date. I wore all black. Oh my gosh, yeah. I wore all black and then I wore like a Fendi cape coat and then I wore heels and we did some tasting and I wanted to wear something different and I wanted to wear something, a combo, cause I'm just into layering fragrances now, just layering combos, putting them together, what have you, went out, right? So the growl, Kyra I'm Unique, she's here on YouTube and on Instagram. I kept hearing her talk about this fragrance combo and I'm like, I have both of those fragrances and from the vibe that she was saying, I'm like, ooh, I'm all about that vibe. I'm all about those aesthetics, so let's try it out. And that is Angel Share by Killian. Oh my God, this bottle is absolutely gorgeous, right? Beautiful, beautiful bottle. I absolutely love this. Angel Shares by Killian. And then it is mixed with Ebony Wood. Now you guys know I talk to you about Ebony Wood all the time. I told you that she put me on and I was like, OMG, I love this fragrance. This I wear all the time alone. The dent is absolutely real. I have the candle. I don't know if they have a body cream, but this right here, I need a backup bottle because I spray it just that much because it's really, really good. So yes, I mix the two of these together. If you're new to Ebony Wood, let me give you a few of the notes. It's Ebony, Clove, and Pink Pepper. To me, you have to like that unisex, um, what is it? Attention grabbing, uh, I was gonna say eye grabbing, but yeah, attention grabbing. It's just something that's gonna make you turn around and look. I believe it's the ebony or maybe the clove that does that. And I love those type of fragrances. So for me, it's absolutely everything. And then I mixed it and, you know, I wanna say sweetened it up a little bit with Angel Share. This fragrance is absolutely beautiful. It's a warm, spicy. It has cinnamon, cognac. It has hazelnut, oak wood, tonka beans, sandalwood, praline. It is a refillable bottle, just in case you did not know. You can take this in and have it refilled. It was very syrupy, in my opinion, and it paired so well. So if you try this combo out, let me know. I was smelling myself all night. We were sitting out by a fire. If you're following me on Instagram, Instagram, you've seen this. If you're not following me on Instagram, like, wow, guy, like, how are you even saying we're friends? Like, stop what you're doing. I'm gonna put my Instagram handle right here. Come over, say hi, introduce yourself in the DM. But yes, you guys, this right here was Friday night's combo and it was absolutely amazing. So Kyra, this right here, girl, is good, good. I move on. Saturday, I wore a beast, okay? It is Saturday, this is my fragrance of the night and it is a beast. If you do not want to be just smelling up the entire area, don't reach for this. And I'm gonna say, please don't blind buy this, please. This fragrance I received from Golden Scent, um, and it is absolutely beautiful. It is saffron, Bulgarian rose, oud wood, and amber. It looks like this. 
It is absolutely amazing. I do have a discount code for this. I would highly recommend starting with the sample, especially if those aren't some of the notes that you like. Like I said, I love saffron, Bulgarian rose, it's a no brainer, oud, wood, and amber. So for me, it is good, good. You guys, this right here, I put this on and I don't reach for it often because I know that it's one of those, oh my gosh, like what in the world? So I typically only put it on when we're gonna go out. So I put it on and I was playing with it in the house prior to even wearing it today. And I was downstairs and my guy just kept going, what are you wearing? You smell so good. And I told him I was gonna share this with you guys. I was over there. This is so bad. I was over there and we were like making out. Okay, yes, okay, do you not make out? Okay, we were over there and we were making out. And so I had walked back over to the kitchen and it had been some time, some time had passed, right? And he was like, gosh, that smells good. What is that? I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed right now. He, he was like, what is that? And I was like, well, how are you still smelling? And I'm like, oh, you smell it on your upper lip. And he was like, yes. And it is so, so good. It is strong, it is powerful, but it is uber, uber sexy. When I tell you that man, okay, my guy asked me about, I'm, gonna, I'm not kidding you, I'm not kidding you, about three, four, five times he mentioned it. Like, seriously, what is that? You smell so good. Like, it smells so good. And it is, it really is that good. But I don't know if I should suggest it and say it's blind buy worthy unless you like those kind of fragrance notes. But this is my winner of the picks this week. This one here stole the show. I didn't expect for it to because I've worn it before. But like I said, play with your fragrances. Put them in different seasons. Wear them out. Wear them on different day, night, different places, different outfits, different moods, different occasions, and see what you get from it. This was not my first time, but it never shined as much as it shined tonight and earlier part of this week when I was testing it out. This right here is good, good. Um, that is it, you guys. That wraps up my week. <laughs> I had so much fun. I hope you guys have fun as well. Leave any comments that you have down in the comment section below. Do not forget to leave me your scent of the day and what you wore for the week. If you can remember, a lot of you were chatting with me on in the comment section below saying it was so fun trying to remember what you did or um, you know what you wore for the week, especially if you get up every day and you choose a different fragrance. I don't know how you all choose your fragrances, but for me, I choose my fragrance according to how I feel. Some days, if I'm really knowing that I'm gonna get real dressed up and I'm gonna you know get all glammed and everything like that, I'll reach more for that type of a fragrance. Sometimes I've even tried to match my the bottle of fragrance to my outfit. I mean, I'm like, oh my gosh, girl, you're doing too much. But I do. I choose my fragrances according to how I feel. And if I know, you know, I'm just gonna have like a blah day and I really don't, I'm not really feeling anything. That fragrance combo that I shared with you last week, the Chanel number one, and then the body crops, the body oil. That is such an amazing combo to just have when you just don't wanna spray anything, but you just wanna have on a little something. It's perfect for a chill night in or chill day, whatever you're doing these days. But that's it, you guys. I'm just rambling. I love having you here. Thank you so much for stopping by. I truly appreciate you. If you have enjoyed the content, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. It will alert you every single time there is a new video on the channel. If we have not connected over on Instagram yet, make sure you come over, slide in the DM. Like I said, say hello, introduce yourself. We have a ton of fun over there as well. A lot of lifestyle content is over there as well well, like what I do on the weekends, where I'm going, where I'm actually wearing these fragrances to, how I'm dressing with them, different things like that. A little bit more over there than it is over here when it comes to that particular thing. I will see you beautiful souls in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill, be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, darlings. Thanks for watching. Bye.